All right, so many times I get a logo from a client that needs to be on a t-shirt for sponsors, and uh, it is highly pixelated. So we're going to look at that. This is what it means to convert over to vector art. Here I have logo. I searched logo in Google, and I came up with the Rat City Roller Girls. Their logo is very small. It's like 400 pixels, which is like roughly 3 inches if it's 72 resolution. I'm going to save this image. I'm going to save it to my hard drive. And then climb over to Inkscape. Let's make an extra large silk screen t shirt. So, document properties. We'll go to inches. We'll state that the inches are going to be like 19 by 23. Just through those as arbitrary numbers. I haven't measured that, but that's about an extra large t shirt. So we want to make t-shirts out of the Rat City logo. Well, let's check that out for a second. File, import, import the graphic, and we'll use embed. This is coming from the internet. So this is as big as it's going to get. Those are the biggest t-shirts we can make. There's the palette, there's the extra large t-shirt, and this is here. Because if we zoom in, look at it. It's highly pixelated. So we need to make that bigger somehow. And that's where vector art comes in. Let's go to path and trace bitmap. And it starts out the default of 0.45. Well, let's just trace it at that and move it off to the side. And in that case, it looks out pretty good. I'm going to trace it at like 0.2. Oops. And then I'm going to move that off to the side. And then I'll trace it one more time at 0.99. All right, let's close this out. Now let's look at what we got. That my vector or the pixelated one I don't need anymore. And then I'm going to go to view display mode, go to outline. So if I was vinyl cutting the shirt, there's a thing called weeding away. And in this case, the eyes here would be easier to make. This eye would be easier to make. The other eye doesn't make too much sense. And in this one, that eye makes sense. This eye makes sense, but the letters look too round. And this one, the letters look good. So I like the eye on here. I hate the lettering. And this one doesn't have elements of either. So I'll delete that one. This is the one I want. It has more detail in the eyes and more detail in the lips. And I like the letter over here. These are only a few elements. This is a larger amount of elements. So we're going to take this and break it apart. But first, we're going to move it over to a layer. So go layer, layers. So this one, we'll make a new layer. We'll call these the eyes, just to make, just to wrap your head around it. I'll click on it, right click. And there's a way to add this to the layers. Oh. Let's go to the black arrow for this. I'll cut this, highlight the layer, and paste it. There we go. So this one is on its layer. This one is on a layer. You can rename this one anything you want. How about we rename it just to letters?
And we're going to break this one apart and we're going to break this one apart. I'll take it and go layer. Oh, sorry. Path. Break apart. And this one. Path. Break apart. All right. Now we're cooking. So I don't like any of these elements, but I need to know where they're placed. And I like the face over here. So I'm going to delete most of this stuff here on this side. In fact, none of this is needing. Uh, as I delete, I kind of decide what I need. If that makes sense. Cool. And these elements, I'm going to move over here. And I can use the uh, arrows on my keyboard to kind of align them if I need to. Right there. Good. All those elements are the ones I want to keep. And what I'm going to do is shut them off. And delete all the ones I don't need. Because I'm now on that layer, the old one, letters. And that's why I had you move it over to a layer. And then I'll turn this one back on, and there we go. Oop, there's one more. It's on it. So this is what I need. And if I went into the other view, however, you're going to see this. It's going to be all black. And if you want to fix that, because some people do like to fix these things, even though it's it's not needed because what I really wanted was the um, actual vector lines. But fill and stroke while you go in here. And now I, if I want no fill, I can do that. But here's the case. You're going to have to do this for every element in here. And then you're going to have to to have the stroke up to something. What I would do is go like this, display mode outline, and you're going to see it a lot easier. Grab it all, no fill, go to stroke, and you want to stroke of black. And then you can go back to normal mode to see this. So now you have a visual representation of the lines, and you also have of what the the actual vector lines themselves and I can make this as big as I want now hold shift as you uh, scale it because that way it constrains the proportions and if you were to actually laser cut this you would have to do something here especially with the fill and stroke stroke, the stroke style needs to be a 0.1. That's the cut with laser. So in most cases you, you need an outline to get your head wrapped around it but it doesn't have to be so thick. And as far as filling in the objects you'll never be able to just do that because what will happen is um, well here, here's what it's going to look like. Okay, so if we need something as far as a, a t-shirt for uh, silk screen, we're going to have to do this. Combine. And let's try that out. And there we go. So I showed you two different worlds there. I showed you here, here's the artwork for what would be needed as far as silk screening is concerned. And then before I had lines for laser cutting. There's a lot to this video. Just make sure that you paid attention and how to convert and how to manipulate two pieces of converted art to one good piece, line or fill.
enjoy. And let's move on to the next video. What I would do is do one of your own before you move on to the next video, though. Try it out. Try it out on a logo. All right. So see you there in the next video.